India on Thursday successfully test-fired intercontinental ballistic missile ICBM Agni-5 from Abdul Kalam Island in Odisha. The sophisticated missile traveled for 19 minutes and covered 4,900 kilometers. The sleek missile was test-fired from a canister launcher mounted on a mobile platform at about 9.54 a.m. from number 4 launch pad in the integrated test range ITR in the Abdul Kalam Island. Though Agni-5 is said to have a range of 5,000 kilometers, its range has been a contentious issue. Even India initially did not divulge the exact range of the missile, but later, DRDO hinted that it has the capability to reach 5,000 kilometers. Chinese experts say that the missile actually has the potential to reach targets 8,000 kilometers away and that the Indian government had deliberately downplayed the missile's capability in order to avoid causing concern to other countries. Before delving further into the subject, one must understand why India could be deliberately understating its military capabilities. India is striving hard to gain into NSG and it may not go down well with the superpowers if it comes out in the open that India has a missile capable of carrying nuclear warheads to a distance of around 8,000 kilometers. It may hamper India's chance of gaining entry into the elite NSG group. The range of a missile is mainly determined by the amount of fuel it can carry and the weight of its warheads. The fuel of a missile is determined mainly by its internal volume, which is determined by its height and diameter, as well as its weight. Agni-5 weighs less, as its body and structure are entirely fabricated from lighter composite materials. Agni-5's diameter is less than Trident's, but is longer, so it can be deduced that they carry more or less the same amount of fuel. However, the official range of the Trident is 12,000 km, while the Agni-5 is 5,000 km. Well, that's about it for now. This is me, Ashish David, signing off. I'll see you in the next video.